Hey, it's Chris Flegler, your team chaplain here at UNC Charlotte for men's basketball. We're bringing this to you today, which I'm really, really excited about. Just to share with you some things that are going on. As you know, some of you, right, this is year three for us here with the program. And it's been a different year, but we're still here, right? And we thank God for that. In a normal year, you'd be able to to come here and meet Coach Sanchez, some of our players, you get to, to shake their hands, um, hear their stories, and really hear how they're being impacted through FCA and, and through uh, my, the opportunity that I have to walk alongside them and serve them. But since you can't come here and see them, then I thought, man, what better thing than to, to bring them to you? You're gonna to get to hear from Coach Sanchez, you're going to get to hear from Bryce Williams, who's a sophomore from right here in Huntersville, North Carolina. You're going to get to hear from Regan Larson, who's a, a sophomore from right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, you get to hear some of their experiences um, and their journeys as they just kind of travel this road of being a coach and an athlete during a time like this. So let's go. Uh, my name is Ron Sanchez and I'm the head basketball coach at UNC Charlotte. The value of having an FCA per presence in our, in our program, you know, is immeasurable. I would love to give you, you know, one or two examples, but, you know, I think what makes us different is that we want to invest into our young men physically so they can grow and become better athletes. We want to help them, you know, develop their craft. But this is also a place where if you are so interested and you want to you know, uh, grow in your faith that, um, you know, I think it's important for coaches to also provide that for their athletes. And I think it is all interlaced, the growth of physical development, the growth of skill development, and the opportunity to grow spiritually. You know, um, my FCA presence here is, is so present um, that I don't even notice it. It, it is that common. Uh, there's so many things going on that um, you know, I could just feel it in, in, the, in the posture, the heart posture of so many of our players, how encouraged they feel, how encouraged um, they are. And um, I am so glad that uh, we have an FCA presence in our locker room. The presence of Chris Flegler in our program is so important. You know, FCA being here has impacted the heart posture of so many of our players. Um, in so many ways, you know, guys that are dealing with, you know, injuries or setbacks and, you know, just trying to find, you know, the purpose of all those things in their journey. Um, as a coach, it is important for me to point some things out, but the truth is that an FCA presence also allows me to do that in a much more positive, constructive way. My name is Bryce Williams. I'm from Huntersville, North Carolina. I'm a sophomore and I play basketball here at Charlotte. I come in here, I thought it would be just basketball 24-7. Um, I know everybody talks about God every now and then with a little quote or something, but it's actually pushed here, preached here, in practice, through how we play. Also, off the court with Chris and uh, before, the, before the games or even on the plane, we just had, had nothing but time. So I never thought it would be pushed as much as it is. And, but they don't force it on you, but it is like, if you want it, it's here for you. So. I never thought it would be like that, no. Yeah. Sounds special for sure. My relationship with God is constantly growing. Um, I'm just trying to keep going right, trying to find a way with God. Being a college athlete is one thing one thing of its own. So like, it's very time consuming. It takes a big part of your mental. Um, you have to be very disciplined and just how you handle your time, that makes it real hard just from the basketball part. Now, when you want to talk about spiritual, it's not common to see that and athletes um, to be chasing God at the same time while playing sports. It makes it real hard and it just brings out another part of discipline because you have to study a little bit, you have to read, you have to learn, you have to pray, you have to keep in contact with God. So it just requires that higher level of discipline to actually chase God, chase, chase your faith. It gives me that hunger to like want more, to learn more. And then I go ask you questions or research it on my own. So you just, you've been like a light where it's, made me want more, made me want to know more, and you brought more things to my attention 
and also just being a mentor to me. You help me make, help me make different decisions, help me uh, decipher right from wrong. Anything I need you here for, spiritual-wise or just every day. So you make a big difference. Uh, I'm Regan Larson. Uh, I'm a sophomore here at University of Charlotte. Um, and I'm a basketball player. Um, I came here, I transferred here from Pfeiffer University. Um, and this is my first year here, and I'm really excited to be here. Just like a lot of people, I've grown up in church. I've always been around it, always been around good people. Went to a Christian school in high school, so I've always been around it, but I never really like took my faith serious, I would say. Um, uh, not until my senior year of high school did I really start growing and like understanding what it really meant to be a Christian, um, accepted Christ into my life, and uh, you know I'm I'm really big into apologetics and theology because if you're not able to defend your faith, then you know uh, you got You got to know it inside and out. So that's really helped uh, grow my faith and grow my understanding of the gospel. Obviously, it's uh, really hard to uh, you know be. Uh, be a light in a dark world, um, especially in a, on a college campus. There's all kinds of distractions and things that, and people that are going to try to pull you one way or, or push you another. Um, so just being really, really grounded in your faith is obviously important in all aspects of life, but really in college, um, as those are really your growing years and uh, the best, best time of your life. So when I came here uh, to play at Charlotte, I obviously didn't know um, about Chris, but very quickly did, uh, did I, was I introduced to him and really has been a blessing in my life uh, right away. Really has just taught me how to grow as a, not only a man, but as a man of Christ and uh, just have that, that fellowship and brotherhood within the team and w within my, my college life has been very important to me. Um, whether it's day-to-day -day conversations about just something I'm, I'm wondering or something I'm struggling with, I can always hit him up no matter the, the time of the day um, and that's really valuable to me. Um, as, a, as a figure on our, in, within our basketball program, um, I, I would say he's definitely a staple and just someone that everyone leans on, uh, whether it's from our 10 minute timeouts before the game, and uh, gives us a message and a word of encouragement before we play um, to all the little things that he does for us. It's, it's really valuable. You know, it's a, it's, it's a crazy thing, you know, uh, especially at the college level, everyone's just all about winning, all about, um, you know, getting better, obviously, and just just like we are. But I think there's a deeper, deeper meaning to everything that we do within the staff. Um, you know, they they care more about your development as a man than your development as a player, even. Um, so, this is really just a perfect situation for me on and on and off the court. Um, so I'm extremely blessed to be in that and have the the staff and Chris around us as a team. So I'm glad that you were able to see all of these things from today, to hear these testimonies because of the times that we're in. I mean, you, you can't come to us. So I'm thankful to be able to, to bring it to you, to, to show you, you know, what's still happening in the midst of all the uncertainty and the chaos that's around us. Um, but that's the God that we serve, right? I really just want people to know that God is still faithful. <laughs> like, and that God doesn't stop. Like he never stops working. And the scripture says that he doesn't sleep or slumber, right? And I think in, the, in times, in the midst of so much uncertainty, you like, where's God? And like, he's here, <laughs> right? He's here and I think that's what we're able to see throughout the testimonies, right? That you know, he's here, he's here to stay. And uh, scripture says that the kingdom of, of hell can't overcome it, right? Like he's here to stay. Even though times are hard and dark and uncertain and can be discouraging at times, you still have faithful believers that are still showing up. And if they can do it, then I can do it, right? Because God doesn't respect a person. He doesn't give me more faith than he gives, right? Like someone else, it's just, are we going to trust him? Are we going to trust him more than what we see? Are we going to walk by faith and not by sight? Um, and if we do, God is going to continue to move in mighty ways.
And so, I mean, that's what's happening here. Are we just refuse to stop? And that's why I want to encourage believers just to, and my partners to refuse to stop. Just refuse to stop. Like, don't back down, you know? So.